Hello everybody and welcome to Take It Easy. In this video, I will explain what is Logitech Unifying Technology, what are its benefits, and what are the limitations. So let's get started. First, let's have a look at the old way of communicating between a wireless USB receiver and a controlling device. In the old-fashioned way, for each controlling device, there will be one corresponding USB receiver. So, consider this scenario. You have a laptop and you have an, a keyboard and a mouse at your home office. So, that gives you a total of two USB receivers. Then you go and take your laptop and go to your work office where you also have an external keyboard and mouse. So, that adds another two, which means that you have a total of four USB receivers. Well, that will be consuming all of the available USB slots on your laptop, which is going to be impractical. And that's where the unifying technology from Logitech comes in play. So how does unifying technology solve this problem? Well, look at the diagram. Unifying technology, as its name implies, unifies all of the uh, USB receivers into one single receiver that you will use and pair with all of the controlling devices that you will use to control your machine. So, uh, in the same example, you will use only one receiver, you will pair it with two mice and two keyboards, one mouse and one keyboard at your home office, and one mouse and one keyboard at your work office, so that you will be using only one slot in your laptop instead of using four slots, which is uh, very beneficial feature from Logitech. So it doesn't only give you this benefit, but since uh, all of the uh, controlling device comes originally with their own unifying receivers, and you will only be using just one receiver at a time, this gives you spare receivers. Since in the same example, you have bought two keyboard and two mice having four receivers, and you will only be using one receiver. So that gives you three additional receivers that you'll not be using at this moment. So you can keep these for spare. In case you lose this receiver, you will be able to get one of these spares and pair it again with the four devices and you are up and running. So what are the limitations on the unifying technology? First, since the technology is by Logitech, so it is obviously not supported by other vendors, so this technology only applies on Logitech devices and not only it's applying on Logitech devices but it is applying on a subset of the Logitech devices so not all of Logitech devices are supporting this technology you will have to look for the uh, unifying orange logo that was shown earlier in this demonstration any device that says that it supports the unifying technology and have this orange logo will be able to communicate with any uh, unifying receiver. About the number, the maximum number of devices that can communicate with a uh, unifying receiver at a time, the maximum number of devices are six devices at a time, which is a practical number uh, in my opinion uh, since you'll you'll never be having more than six devices controlling your PC at the same time so six, six uh, seems to me more than enough so uh, this is uh, what is unifying technology is all about thank you for watching if you have any comments please let me know in the comment box below and I will get back to you thank you very much